I'm here and I'm bringing you a video today to show you how to install some LED off-road lights um, behind the grill of a 4th Gen 1500 Ram. Uh, I purchased these off of Amazon for like 46 bucks for a pair and we're going to be installing these right behind the grill on this side and this side. Along with the lights, I got like a $12 wiring harness off of Amazon. Um, these wiring harnesses are great. I would highly suggest replacing the switch, which is pretty easy. There should only be two or three wires going to it, so a three-prong switch would replace this. Um, I'll show you this later in the video. But the only really modifications I did to this so far was to the, the bare ends. I added these two-way connectors to this plug in the line attached to the light end right here. So they just plug in, makes it really easy for disconnecting and connecting the lights. So first step, um, with these fourth gens, unlike the thirds, the fourth, the grill's connected to the engine bay. So you are going to have to, one, open your hood, little latch right here. And then after that, you have this plastic bezel that needs to come off. So there's pop clips here, 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 there, and there. So pop these off. I just threw it up on the engine. Um, so now you have to remove the grill. This is going to be four bolts, one here, 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 and here. They're all 10 millimeters. Um, then once you do that, there's just some pop clips that hold the bottom in. So you just got to pop those out. Now that you have it unbolted, it's pretty easy just to pop the pop clips. Um, see it's pretty much out. Pop them out, boom, she's out. Play this over here. Now what I did here with the grill off, I removed this flat, this rubber wind deflector. Um, and now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna mount this. I'm probably gonna put a hole through here, but I might actually have to trim this piece up here a little bit so the light, because the light's really tall. So if you had a normal size LED cube, it'd probably fit just fine. But these things are really tall lights, as you can see. If I put it here, it's going to be hitting the top, so I might have to trim a little out. So what I've decided to do is cut out the size of the bracket so that this could sit on the bottom. Because this is like a V-shaped here, so it's going to sit on the bottom so it sits flush. So if you have a Dremel or something, it would be really easy to do this, or an angle grind. But what I'm going to do is I have to heat this, and then I'm also heating the blade to make a little hot knife. Cuts into plastic much easier, as you can see. Oh, it's right through it. Just have to do it a couple times, heat it up and cut it. So now that we got it cut out, the bracket fits in perfectly. So now we gotta just drill a hole and then we're still gonna have to trim a little on the top. We got a hole. So now that the brackets are in and they're snugged up, it's time to put the lights on and figure out how much of this we might have to trim back. Lights have been attached, so we basically just gotta figure out how much of a cutout up here we're gonna need. Alright, we got the top part cut out, so now when you put the light up, it can sit nice. So all we gotta do is just go down and tighten it up right there, and uh, this light will be all installed. Alright, they're both in it, it actually looks very clean, especially once you put the grill on it, it's gonna look very nice. So the next steps have to do with the wiring harness. So basically I laid this out for you. You have the two ends there and there that go to the lights themselves. That runs into a relay, which you see there's a positive negative wire to the battery. Um, you can also just ground the negative to anywhere on the, the chassis. Um, so with the relay, what it does is you're able to do, it's a, it's a um, low voltage switch over here, which will run that through the firewall of the truck into the cab so you can control the lights. So we're gonna get this thrown in, connect it to the lights, the battery, and then get it run through the firewall, and then uh, we'll have light. So we got our wiring harness about all squared away. You can see we connected the lights to the wiring harness down here, ran the wires along the bottom, up into here behind the light. 
they come out right here, down here. I hid the extra wire underneath this box, and then coming out of that goes to the relay, where you have your ground, your positive, then you have your black wire running around the back here, and then into the firewall to the switch. So really all that's left to do is install the switch where we want it, and then we'll just put the, uh, the grill and stuff back on and see how it looks. All the wires all tucked up under the dash pretty nicely, and this is how the switch is going to sit, just sticks with 3M tape. Um, for now this is going to just be a, more of a temporary until I'm going to probably do a more permanent uh, switch setup in here. But I'll keep you posted, maybe a future video will be how I'll wire a new switch. Maybe do a stock into here, do one like here or something like that. Grill is back and installed. You can see here, you can see the lights right there. Nice and sleek, not super obvious. I'm a big fan of how they look. So here, we'll turn them on right now. And damn, they look good. Very bright. Pretty excited to see what they look like tonight when we test them out. So now I'm gonna do a little test of what these lights look like. So first I'm gonna turn on just my normal headlights um, on my vehicle. That's what they look like. And then now I'm gonna turn on the two LED fog lights way brighter and now we'll put them both on together can't even tell i put the headlights on all right guys i hope this video helped you out and gave you any good ideas about how you're going to set up your lights on your own truck but please throw us a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like these